Good afternoon and welcome to a Dominic speech about Dominic Cummins who breached his lockdown rules that he has set with Boris Johnson. Dominic Cummins pe petition, petition to sack Mr Cummins reaches 226,000. Will he quit? Dominic Cummins is under increasing pressure to resign his post as Tory MPs, buy shops, NHS staff and scientists call for his resignation. But how many have backed a petition to sack Mr Cummins? Dominic Cummins is at the centre of a national row regarding an alleged breach of coronavirus lockdown rules in March. The Prime Minister's chief aide has been accused of driving from London to County Durham at the height of lockdown restrictions in breach of lockdown rules. But how many believe Mr Cummins should resign and will he quit? Probably not. Idiot. Dominic Cummins is Boris Johnson's closest political advisor, working in the upper reaches of government and Conservative Party for almost 20 years. Mr Cummins was seen leaving Downing Street on March 27 and three days later was confirmed to be self-isolating with coronavirus symptoms. But despite the UK being on lockdown, it is claimed Mr Cummins travelled 260 miles from London to Durham between March the 27th and the 31st. Naughty boy. Police in Durham were made aware of reports that an individual had travelled from London to Durham and was present at an address in the city on March the 31st. Idiot. Officers then made contact with the owners of that address. Newspapers react after Boris Johnson stands by Dominic Cummins. Round up national coverage of Prime Minister's defence on his top of, of his top advisor inside politics. Prime Minister faces to, to, Tory Ferry after backing Cummins, rightly so. Coronavirus calls for Dom, Dominic Cummins to resign after lockdown travel. The P, Prime Minister's chief aide, Dominic Cummins, is facing calls to resign after emerged he travelled from London to his parents' home in Durham with coronavirus symptoms during lockdown. Mr Cummins and his wife, who was also unwell, stayed at his parents' home while self-isolating. Labour demanded Number 10 provided a swift explanation for Mr Cummins' actions. A source close to Mr Cummins denied a breach of the coronavirus rules, saying the couple needed childcare help. No excuse. I told the BBC's political editor, Laura Koonsberg, that the couple had stayed in a separate building at the property. Downing Street declined to comment on Friday night after The Guardian and the Daily Mirror newspapers first reported Mr Cummins had made more than 260 mile journey. The government had ordered anyone with coronavirus symptoms to self-isolate at home and not leave even for essential supplies for seven days. Yeah, he did that, didn't he? Meanwhile, Prime Minister Boris Johnson said in March that children should not be left with older grandparents or older relatives who may be particularly vulnerable or fall into some of the vulnerable groups. A Labour spokesman said, if accurate, the Prime Minister's chief advisor appears to have breached the lockdown rules. Correct. Boo. The government's guidance was very clear. Stay at home and no non-essential travel. The British people do not expect there to be one rule for them and another rule for Dominic Cummins. Mr Cummins had attended meetings of a scientific advisory group to try and get away with it for emergencies, SAGE. The scientific body which gives independent advice that shapes the government's coronavirus response. Scottish National Party's Westminster leader Ian Blackford said Mr Cummins' position was untensible and said the Prime Minister had serious questions to answer about the reports. He told BBC's Radio 4, Today programme, there was nothing in the guidance that justifies travelling more than 250 miles. Really? Hypocrite. Dominic Cummins has to do the right thing, which he didn't. And if he doesn't resign, Boris Johnson should sack him, and he shouldn't, and he should do that this morning, Mr Blackford said. He should go criminal record. When you have a situation that have the highest level of government, that lockdown rules aren't be being followed, then I think people expect action to be taken. 
Meanwhile, Dave Penman, General Secretary of the FDA in America, the Union, who represents senior civil servant, said the Prime Minister was reasonably responsible for his, the actions of his chief aide and called for Mr Johnson to explain reports that Cummings broke lockdown rules. He told BBC Radio 4's Today Photogram that essentially when he, Mr Cummings, says or does something, he is doing it in the Prime Minister's name. It comes after an other profile figures involved in tackling the pandemic have resigned for breach in lockdown restrictions, including Scotland's former Chief Medical Officer Catherine Calderwood and leading scientist Professor Neil Ferguson. Dr Calderwood resigned in April after making two trips to her second home during the coronavirus lockdown. While Professor Ferguson quit as a government advisor on coronavirus after it was report, reported that a woman he was said to be in a relationship with visited his home in lockdown. At the time, Dominic Cummings had coronavirus symptoms. There was only a limited set of reasons for which people were allowed to leave their homes, which shouldn't be at all. And the advice for anyone was, and is, not to leave your home at all for at least seven days, advised team. Remember, there have already been other senior figures involving in tackling the pandemic who have to had to resign for breaching lockdown restrictions. A source close to Dominic Cummings is insistent that he didn't break the rules. But for those at the top, perceived to be even be stretching the rules is damaging. Along with triggering accusations of hypocrisy, hypocrisy, it risks pr prompting people to question why they should fo be following the rules if those involved in imposing them are not. Exactly. On the 30th of March, it was reported that Mr Cummings, the former vote leave chief, who was the architect of the Prime Minister's Brexit strategy, had developed symptoms of the coronavirus and were self-isolating at home. Durham Police confirmed officers had spoken to the owners of an address after its officers were made aware on M March the 31st of reports of a person had travelled there from London, called Idiot Cummings. A spokesman said that owners of the address confirmed the individual was present and self-isolating in part of the house, and officers explained to the family the guidelines, guidelines around self-isolation and re reiterated the appropriate advice around essential travel. The source close to Mr Cummings denied that police spoke to him. Typical. Ed Davey, acting leader of the Liberal Democrats, said if Dominic Cummings had broken the guidelines, he will have to resign as it's as simple as fact. And speaking on BBC Newsnight, former Conservative MP David Lidington, who was FACSO Deputy Prime Minister under Theresa May, warned that the read readiness, readiness of members of the public to follow government guidance. More generally, it's going to be affected by this sort of story. Who is Dominic, who is Dominic Cummings? Government advice on the 31st of March was for the public to stay at home and only leave for clearly defined reasons, including to exercise, central shopping or for medical needs. At the time, and as remains the case, those with symptoms of coronavirus were told to self-isolate at home and not leave even for essential supplies if possible for seven days. It was, and also remains, not permitted to leave your house to visit friends and family in their home. While government advice for those aged 70 and over continues to be that they should minimise contact with others outside their household. Fever and spasms. Mr Cummings' wife, Mary Wakefield, wrote about the experience of the disease in the Specta Spectator magazine. I felt breathless, sometimes achy, but Dom couldn't get out of bed, she said, day in, day out for ten days. He lay doggo with a high fever and spasms that made the muscles lump and twitch in his legs. Also in the magazine, Mr Cummings wrote about his experience of self-isolating with his wife, saying that at the end of March, and for the two, first two weeks of April the 1st, I was ill. So we, from a, for the first two weeks of April, I was ill. So we were both shut in together. At the time, Mr Johnson's positive test result for coronavirus was announced on the 27th of March. 
tapped down in the street said that Mr Cummins was not unwell, but within days it was confirmed that the strategist had started displaying coronavirus symptoms. So what do you do? You isolate. Mr Cummins was next photographed at Ted down Downing Street on 14th of April after his recovery and other developments. Police are wary on patrol amid a rise in spitting attacks during the coronavirus pandemic. People arriving in the UK must have isolate for 14 days from the 8th of June to help slow the spread of the coronavirus. The government has said Cummins, I behaved reasonably and legally. Dominic Cummins gives a statement to explain his actions during lockdown, including a trip to the North East. Wow. Steve White asked Durham's Chief Constable to investigate the MP's time in this area. Durham's Police Commissioner had written to the Chief Constable about Dominic Cummings and time in the area. This is a disgrace. We expect to be able to trust our government in this pandemic. We are all in this together and our government are not exempt from the laws that they have set out for us. They ask us to do one thing and they do another. This is not the way government works. If the Queen understood what was going on, there'd be big trouble. So. The government, who are preaching all of their guidelines that they want us to follow when they won't follow a single one of theirs, perhaps I should think a bit more and make some more sense. I'm going to end this pretty short briefing on Dominic Cummings. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Neutral Porter Dwayne Hart, MK Local News and the Wayne's UK3. Thank you.